So in the service of talking about uh, personalizing medicine for you, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, pharmacogenomics. Now there are controversies about this, and it's an emerging field, and there are two randomized double-blind studies that are about to be published um, by the two competitive and major uh, companies that are in this sponsoring it. So the question is, why would you want to know about this? And Part of it has to do with it's emerging and controversial, and part of it has to do with the fact, how many of you have had this happen to you? You're sitting down, and a patient comes in with a piece of paper and said, okay, smartass, what does this mean? <laughs> have you been handed a genomic test by somebody? That, yeah. It, it's, you think that isn't going to happen in the future, <clears throat> it's going to happen even more. And so uh, this is actually a lecture that is derived from, uh, I gave a lecture at the APA, it's called the Morazic Lecture. I don't know if some of you have heard that. Uh, did you hear it? So it was an award uh, that I got for, for pharmacogenomics about when it was in Atlanta, I think two or three years ago. And so this is my take on it, where I think it stands. And I think it's something you have to know about, even if you violently disagree with it, because there's people who uh, believe that this is worthless or it's just research, and there's other people who uh, do it on everybody. And so where's the truth? And the short answer is going to be somewhere in between. So well, the learning objectives here are to explain the molecular principles underlying personalized medicine, precision medicine, uh, whatever you want to call it, individualized medicine, assess the potential use of pharmacogenomics, or genetics, if you will, in that, and identify genetic polymorphisms that might be associated with the various mental health disorders and treatment responses. Okay, so here we go. We're going to interpret, to a certain extent, the current pharmacogenetic test results and communicate the findings to parents and their families, at least how some of us think to do that. You may have a different point of view. There's no right answer here. It's an evolving, ever-changing thing.